<laughs> there is change language. All right, so part A, episode one. All right, that's gonna be my timing. Hopefully that works. I gotta keep it clicked on the live split apparently for the live split to work because there's no live split auto. So a lot of my time is probably just going to be cutscenes. Um, they're all skippable. Get ready. Let the battle begin. This is going to be intense. Alright, match one done. Just gotta, gotta get through it as fast as I can. Shouldn't be too hard. Get ready. Let the battle I got nerves though. Nerves always. Nerves can always screw it up. Don't let him hit. Woo! <laughs> Is bad timing on my skip. Get ready. I should be able to perfect this. I perfect begin. it in practice. I gotta get her down to the ground. Use this. In fact, I think in practice I perfect every fight. Because my main playthrough was on one star. So we'll see how that goes. This guy gave me a little bit of trouble just because his combo can uh, it can occur right in the beginning. He was also the only character I needed to use two of these for. But luckily, it, it's it's quick and it's a lot of damage. Nope, they need to do the two. Okay, awesome. So we're only at three minutes. That's awesome. Good. All right. Get this ready. this can be a little annoying, only because he can't get this weird combo in the beginning. Right there, he found it. But I found if he gets one hit, it's not that big of a deal, because. I, I can break it. Like that. Oh, it didn't work. No biggie. There we go. So when you want to beat the covers, you just want to get to two, and you want to land that. Uh, if you don't land that, you lose a lot of time. But getting the punch breaks like that... It's pretty much your best way of getting a lot of damage in. Like that. And then you gotta wait for the sun to start getting up. There we 
we go. Just because their HP is so high, getting these air combos is really important. And the more air combos you can get, the better. There it goes. So that's one of the longer fights. Um, actually, all of the cover fights are pretty long. Only because those covers have a lot of health. So that screw up though, uh, where he landed that hit is bad, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, she can be a bit of a pain because she gets that counter right off the bat. Uh, almost every time in practice I got that. I haven't found a way to get past it yet. But once you start her combo, you can really get some damage in. Oh, that timing was off, which sucks. Uh, my health doesn't really matter in this fight. I just want to kind of make sure she can't break all my counter breaks. Which I'm doing early counter breaks, which is why the announcer isn't getting it right. And then I want to kind of get her in a corner like this. And just land that. Get her into a corner. Oh, I'm pushing her into the wrong corner. Which is fine. Oh, as long as she didn't break that, I was going to say... So I lost a little bit of time doing that. Ooh, as long... Sometimes... Sometimes she just gets you. Uh, no biggie, though. Still making pretty decent time, I would think. I should also be running this game on my SSD, but I'm not. For whatever reason, that cutscene doesn't like to skip right away. This fight can be a little bit of a pain in the ass if she gets the upper hand or they start comboing you together. Like this. So you kind of want to just break her combos and push this guy away. And then when they get close together, use this. That way she goes away. And as long as you're mid combo, she can't hit you. So you can drop them really quick. Right. There we go. If you keep him in the air, she can't hit you. But sometimes the game will just auto switch your uh, attack. So once you get his health about here, you just want to. Combo your uh, alt B, and you can drop him. Get her in the air. Same with her, keep her in the air. It's okay if you fight Sasuke. Just when they get together, you want to use your counter break ability. Her tornado ability is pretty much the best. So that's one out, last of them. Now I can just finish her off. Now she's done. And now this guy is pretty much the biggest pain. Uh, if he gets any range on you, you can do things like this, which take too long. As long as his analysis doesn't go to a max out, you're fine. So same tactic, keep him in the air. And you don't really want to use anything that uses cutscenes. So if you have an attack combo that uses a cutscene, you want to cut off the cutscene on your last strike so it just doesn't happen. Uh, that's just to save time because it slows down the match. Hopefully that makes sense. Get ready. Let the brawl begin. So for this fight, it's pretty much just getting as much of your special meter as you can as fast as you can. Leave 
to me. There we go. That way you can do your combo break. You're gonna take a lot of hits in this one. It's probably the slower of them all because they're just all right there in front of you. But as you can see, I'm already at five. And it's mainly just because they're always right there on top of you. I haven't found a good tactic for this fight yet. I know you're not supposed to do this, but uh, the damage output is really high. Okay, that's her. And then finally the highest health one, which is the real one, of course. And she'll always break. But you can get strikes off before she does a Veiler. It's also a tough one to skip. Some like. Get ready. So this one's pretty Let tough because you got the two covers. Get over here. You kind of want to just focus on the covers as best you can. Using her dashing ability is going to be extremely useful. Uh, doing it pretty much this entire match. Which is also what you kind of want to do for the last match, but you can't. If you need to know, it's YXXXXXX. Keep hitting it. So you'll notice that that special ability doesn't have a cutscene or anything. That's the best uh, for speedrunning, I think. It's also a really good combo because it does uh, damage as you're coming down. You don't want to just tap X because you'll see I do that weird jump thing. You want to do your jumping combos as much as frequent, as much as you can. There we go. All right, that's good. These are the kinds of things you want to see. Because it means the game. Well, you don't want to see it unless you're in combat. That's bad. I can normally perfect that one. So for some reason your Y ability here knocks down, which is extremely useful. That's set. Now we get, get to ready. actually beat Let her on her own. There we go. Sometimes when you do your B attack, she does like the sword in the ground attack. That's definitely not random. But your goal is to kind of make sure she can't block. Now I want to get her against this wall. Leave it to me. Over here. 
because she's gonna go to use her Veiler and stuff. And she has her secret fi uh, fiber. So it's kind of RNG dependent whether she activates that, but that's an instant kill. Uh, which is exactly what you don't want to happen, so you want to maintain your combos throughout the entire fight. This can also happen during the last regular fight, which can be extremely, um, really annoying. So this I'm going to do just because of the explosive damage it can do. As you can see, it didn't happen. Uh, which isn't that big of a deal, because I really was just using it to maintain a combo. One, two, three, Y. X. So that was just tricking the AI so that way she couldn't land a hit on me. By attacking directly above her head, she was going to go to break my combo, but she fails. And then I can tap B and do that down kick. That way I can restart my combo. It's just kind of like a fail save. So this fight is probably the hardest because Regio can one hit uh, right out of the gate. Get ready. Let the battle this should be the only fight that I might actually need blocking for. But I might not. This is also going to be one of the longer fights. Uh, besides the last two fights, those are pretty long. But as long as I can maintain a guard break, I'm fine. It all just depends on how far away she goes and how far I need to uh, do that ability to use my guard break. And then this can happen when other people break my combo because it's bullshit. But she hits hard, so pretty much your goal is to make sure she doesn't hit you. She hit me barely in a combo and I'm almost uh, one for it. There we go, guard break. See, he broke my combo there, which is bad. I'm pretty sure somebody can do this uh, perfect, which would be in incredible to witness. So now, she's hurting her, which is fine, but we really don't want that. We want to be doing the damage, because obviously when we're on a high lower difficulty, we can put out a lot of damage. So she blocked that, which is a time waste. We're in there. She targeted the wrong character. Obviously, she should be targeting me. I timed this right. No, nope, I didn't. Oh, uh, why did she have to hit her away? I didn't mean to do that. It's fine. I only lost a few, like a few milliseconds. Since I have no idea what the world record is or going to be, because I'm trying to like do a placement, it's whatever. Get ready. Let the battle begin. So this is the second last fight. Which is exactly what I didn't want to happen. I wanted to get blocks on those. So in any other fight... Oh, damn it. You don't want that to hit you. Because <laughs> it blows you so far away. Yeah, this is not going the way I want it to. You want to get a dash before those can hit you. And you want that to hit. That was that was good. That was a good block. See, that's the problem with her dual blade, is that she goes up in the air too much. Here. Here you go. All right. 
This is what we want to see. So that's just like a way to get a little extra damage off at the end. So we have to do these cover fights twice, and then it's pretty much just land a really powerful attack, and then we're done. So the faster you get through these covers, the better. It's pretty much you're using the same combo throughout the whole thing. Bad luck on my part. Hitboxes can be a little funky. Oh, you bitch. See, I hate when that misses. That's never good. This is good. That was bad. I didn't back off far enough. So this is where I need to do most of my work to get better speed. Alright, cool, cool, cool. That was actually pretty fast. This time we have four and one big. That big one can attack from a distance, but as long as he's not directly on you, you're fine. You don't really want him to get anything off, but sometimes he just doesn't stagger. Ooh, I got that side swipe on him, though. See, like that. That's what you don't want to happen. You can also do that, which is super annoying. This is like the strongest cover in the game by far. Which is so bizarre that they... It's probably exactly the same, but it feels so much harder. So as long as I don't lose any more health, or I don't take too much more damage... I had a chance of hitting. I didn't want that. So that was a, a B strat, where you hold B and you pull back and RB at the same time. You can kind of do a block. Um, it's, I don't know if it's like frame perfect, but I don't always get it. Skip skis. This is bad for you, We don't care how bad it is, though. This cutscene's forever long. I don't know how many skips it takes. It might be one. It could be... Okay, it's just one. Now, I have no practice in this fight because I had a lot of trouble with it my first time. But you'll see that she doesn't have a health bar. But, luckily, the map's just big enough for this. I missed. I missed. I missed. That was bad. I missed again. That's bad. That's bad. This is bad. Alright, here we go. Begin. Now I have to win four Bloody Valors, which is rock, paper, scissors. I don't know if there's anything to guarantee. I just do X, Y, B. So I got HP recovery. So now I just need to attack and stack my thing four, four times again. She can still put up a good fight. I guess Saki's a badass whether she's awake or not. Well, I guess I gotta go even more crazy. Right, there we go. Don't bite your tongue. There I go. Oh, I didn't want that. Alright, I just need one more stack. Okay, I should hit her. Alright, I'm just going for B. 
and we hope that it wins and then I just gotta uh, do a ton of tons of amp damage and then do it again so as long as she doesn't win okay she won that's bad so now I have to do it all over again thank you for the open tab and the lurk tech Kyoto so now I just restart, I do X again. Um, if anybody comes up with a way to know or win this every time. There we go. Wake the hell up already! Valor, overpower. This is what we want. Now her difficulty goes up through the roof, but there's a ton of combos, so you just let her get that first attack. I don't know if you can break that. But the same thing. Dash, let it hit, hit B. And then that usually doesn't miss. That usually doesn't miss. I like the way her, her sword sounds. There you go. Let's There we go. Right. Let's step on it. I missed. But I'm above her now. You see, I'm, I was slightly above her hitbox, so she couldn't land a hit, anyways. No, it's. Should be almost done. There we go. Now I need to break that. There it is. So as soon as cutscene shows, that's, that's it. Battle over. That's it, Ryuko. The 4 a.m. siren. Time. 28 minutes. Woo! That was pretty good. Alright, so I'm gonna go post my time. <laughs>